Coming up on the second edition of CHS News. Snow days are great when we have them, but how are they going to affect the calendar here at CHS? The communities of northern New Mexico have lost a friend, community servant and former teacher. As a community, we would like to share a special remembrance. It's the time of year for Christmas concerts, special sales to support our student greenhouse, and sports action with David Gallegos at the Cowbell Tournament. Those and other stories next on CHS News. Three, three, two, one. Two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to your radio welcome station. Your radio station. The voice of Northern New Mexico. 93.9 KRTN. 93.9 KRTN. KRIT Music. KRIT News. KRIT Now. Roberts Evergreen, located in Cimarron, New Mexico, is your one stop contractor for quality, professional, and experienced outdoor needs. Roberts Evergreen has it all tree and bobcat service, landscaping, firewood, and fencing. So if you find yourself in need for the simple beauty of a new landscape, warmth from a fire, shade from a tree, or just the simple privacy of a new fence, give Roberts Evergreen a call at 575-376-2875. You're watching CHS News, broadcasting from Cimarron High School in beautiful Cimarron, New Mexico. News with anchorman Alex Epler. Sports with David Gallegos and Cimarron's co-anchor, Amber Weaver. This is your news station. This is CHS News Now. Good day, I'm Amber Weaver. And I'm Alex Epler. Thanks for joining us today on another edition of CHS News. Mr. Hall Rogers, known by most as CHS, as Coach Rogers, has passed away at the age of 65. Coach Rogers came to Cimarron High School in 1966. He served as a teacher, school board member, and volleyball and basketball coach. Mr. Rogers also served his community for many years as the mayor of Cimarron. He retired from Cimarron High in 1997. However, he still has many who fondly remember him. I used to holler a lot. Maybe that's where I learned how to holler. <laughs> but uh, he, um, he was a good coach. He, we, uh, during his, that time that I played for him, we, uh, Went to regionals when I was a freshman. Uh, we were ranked first in the state all year when we were in 1970. We took second in double A. And then when I was a junior and senior, we were ranked number one in the state uh, two years in a row. Uh, went to state, won quite a few games. He always cared for kids. He really liked kids a lot. And that's why he chose the profession he did was because he really cared for kids. And the other thing I remember is with my own girls, when um, I had them in the hall and we were walking down, he'd always reach into his pocket and pull out a butterscotch candy and give them to each of the girls, and they always remember that, too. We're going to miss him very much. Uh, he contributes so much to this school and just so much to Cimarron in general. The community will really miss him. With the Christmas break just days away, for most students, the Cimarron and Eagle Nest schools are each preparing for their big event, their annual Christmas concert. Billed as one of the biggest annual events, the upcoming Christmas concerts will bring parents, aunts, uncles, and grandparents far and wide to applaud the efforts and preparation of their children and their teachers. This, the Eagle Nest concert will take place on Monday, December 14th at 6 p.m., while the Cimarron concert will occur the next evening at 6 p.m. as well. They want to see their children in the place, singing and dancing, and taking part, so it's a great the theatrical performance. And of course, the uh, local community members like the Kiwanis who do the little uh, bags for them, the little treats, and we fill up the entire gym. I mean, it's an incredible situation for us. So yeah, I think it's positive. If you are in the need for some beautiful plants during the holidays and would like to support a school program at the same time, the Cimarron Elementary Middle School's 4C Greenhouse may be just the ticket. The 4C Plant Sale is an annual event held in the greenhouse, both during the winter and up, coming up, as well in the spring. The 4C, meaning Cimarron Children's Community Caretakers, utilizes this plant sale to raise funds so that the students may have a chance to explore greenhouse gardening while also doing community service acts here for the community. The greenhouse sales hours are Tuesday through Thursday, 4 to 6 p.m., and Friday and Saturday, 12 to noon. 
We do appreciate very much all of the people who come to our sales, both at the holiday time and in the spring, and support our 4C greenhouse and our student learning opportunities. So thank you very much. Snow day, the word that brings joy to every student's ears. That is, until it's time to pay back the days missed. The Cimarron District has already experienced two snow days and with plenty of winter ahead. CHS News went to the district administration to find out just how or if the snow days will be made up. Well, we've missed two days of school and uh, last year the calendar was built with three days, uh, three Fridays in the spring that will be used to make up the days that we've missed. So because we've already had two snow days, in, I think in March there's one, and then in April there's another, and in May there's another. So on those days that are scheduled on the school calendar, we will already come to school on those days. So it's a Friday in March and a Friday in April. Now it's time to go over to David Gallegos at the sports desk. Thank you, Amber. It's tournament time for the basketball teams here at CHS. Both teams traveled to opposite parts of the state last weekend for the tournaments. The men's team attended Clayton Tournament and had some difficulties. Due to a winter storm affecting travel, the Rams had to forfeit the first game of the tournament. They went on to lose to Roy and Des Moines. We talked to Ram senior Denver Crowder in this post-game interview. In one of our games, we had uh, one of our starters was missing due to the SAT, and then in the other game, our starter fouled out in the middle of the third quarter, and that kind of, I think both our losses kind of were attributed to that. Well, being in there and having somebody come off the bench, you just kind of encourage them to do their best and that it's going to be hard, and that, but we're out there just like they are, and all we can do is our best and just to not give up. The Lady Rams also lost their first round game of the Santa Rosa tournament to the third ranked Lady Lions, but rebounded to defeat both McCurdy and Pecos to bring home a trophy. This is what junior Lacey Harris had to say about the tourney. A lot of the girls got experience and everybody got a lot of playing time and we got to um, kind of learn how to play with each other for the most part. Now both teams are back to Colfax County for one of the oldest tournaments in the state, the Cowbell Tournament. For citizens of Colfax County, the Cowbell means many different things. We went out to the Cowbell to ask fans just why the Cowbell is so special. The Cowbell Tournament is the longest standing tournament in the state of New Mexico, I believe. So it's kind of a big deal to northeastern New Mexico. Any game in the, in the Cowbell, anybody can beat anybody. So, you know, pretty much every game is going to be a good game. So it's really exciting for the fans and it's always really exciting for all the teams that are involved as well. It brings lots of teams and towns together for one great event. We've been coming to this for a lot of years. Basketball is important to Cimarron, it's important to me, my family, my son played, you know, so I enjoy it. That's it for sports. Until next time. Thank you, David. That concludes this edition of CHS News. We hope you enjoy the holidays and we look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Amber Weaver. And I'm Alex Zeppler. From all of us at CHS News, have a very Merry Christmas and best wishes in the upcoming new year. Good day. <laughs>